Hello, we missed a bit of class this spring, and so this is to cover what we missed. If you'd like a handout, it's available at the following URL, or to take the slow route, go to my website at Emory, then click on Business 210's course page, then on the link to Calendar Handouts and Class Notes, scroll down the page to look for Chapter 3 and the handout. So, to begin with, what do you know so far? Well, we know the accounting equation, and that's assets equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity if we're a corporation or owner's equity if we're a sole proprietorship or partnership plus revenue minus expense. And we know that this accounting equation always stays in balance and also leads us to our beautiful financial statements at the end. But before we get to the financial statements, you'll remember that there's four kinds of assets, current assets and the non-current assets, which include property, plant, and equipment, long-term investments, and intangibles two kinds of liabilities, current liabilities, long-term liabilities, shareholders' equity, there's two kinds as well, external ownership, th uh, contributed capital, and internal ownership, retained earnings. Revenue and expense are on the uh, financial statement known as the income statement and one of the things we're going to look at uh, during these sessions is how do we recognize revenue or revenue recognition and the other thing that we'll look at is the matching concept which says that we need to almost do a cost-benefit analysis and look at our costs or our efforts that we've expended during the period to generate revenue with that revenue that it happens. And we know that these two, oh that's terrible, is the income statement. And the income statement measures how well the company is doing for a given period of time. We also, and this is the matching concept, so we're going to match, match the revenues and expenses. We know the difference is the net income or net loss. When we turn to the balance sheet, which is assets equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity, we know that the balance sheet is prepared at a given moment in time and talks about our financial health at a moment in time. Now, we have some questions when we look at the balance sheet and the income statement, and these are the questions we'll explore today. How uh, to measure these assets, liabilities, shareholders, equity, revenue, and expense, and how to value them. In addition, we're going to look at some of the underlying assumptions that are behind the accounting equation and the balance sheet and income statement or the financial statements. Uh, and those assumptions include things like going concern and stable dollar. Now, we also know that accounting basically brings meaning to business and it brings meaning to business because it converts business transactions into numbers so that we can uh, have informed judgments to make business decisions. Now uh, hopefully you know more than just this but I just wanted to refresh your memory about the balance sheet, the income statement, and the accounting equation, and these are financial statements. So stay tuned.